Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill, the medieval town that we've been building forever. <laughs> For, forever. It's been three years or something. It's a long time. Uh, big thank you to Cosmic Dancer kick, kicking off the stream with uh, a gift sub to Blast Jordan. Blast. Hold on while I blast this zombie in the face. That felt good. You, uh... You are already part of the Discord, but for anybody that's watching and is like, what, what, how do I join the Discord? You can use a Prime sub, you can use a Tier 1 sub, you cannot use my head on an anvil. <laughs> that's <laughs> well played. Uh, and you could also join Patreon for $2 a month and join the Discord. It's a good community. I think you'll like it. I think you'll have fun. My inventory is a rocking mess. We are going to fix that right now. I did nothing since I logged in last time. Absolutely nothing. I don't even remember what we were working on. I think it was the house. I guess we'll leave the bushes and stuff out. Oh, you know what it was? We were working on the, the duck pond thing. The ultimate failure. Coarse dirt. I'll leave those. Don't need the rail. I mean, don't we always need trapdoors? I feel like that's a thing. And stone. There. That feels more manageable, I think. Certainly easier to mess around with. So the last few streams, we have been working on this pumpkin farm and we have finished, we finished the house. We're walking away from the house for now. I might come back and tweak the roof a little bit, but I think for now we're quite happy with it. I also like the back garden. I think we're good there. Uh, we have not done any of the details along here. We started to experiment with some details here. Uh, and we have not figured out what we're doing along here. I don't hate <laughs> the duck house, uh, but I feel like the, the pond itself, of course, could use some love. But here's where I'm going to need your help today. I don't know what to put in this space. This feels very empty, and I don't exactly know what we could do. We could do another pumpkin-type area. We could do something else, maybe, like a... Not melon, but like maybe a little wheat patch. I don't know. I need to put something here. This little stone wall is going to go away. Um, the other thing we could do is that we could also just tighten up the wall. So rather than trying to fill this space, just to look at it from above, I could curve the wall in here and, and have it be a little bit tighter. Uh, and then we'd have less space. So depending on what we decide to put here, we can kind of tweak tweak the the wall to match flower garden we've already got a big flower garden over on other places so i don't know if i want to go that road shed a wagon with pumpkins so the pump the, the wagon i think makes more sense up here because i think that would be where it would get brought uh that or we put the the wagon a lot closer to the front here so like you know, maybe, or maybe the back. So the wagon could be here, right? Which would make sense if you're gonna be taking it onto the roads. I feel like having a wagon in this space would make sense, right? So like maybe here. I'd love to keep the shaders, but we can't. Right. And then we could put pumpkins on it.
this is just a rough idea, but you'll you'll see what I mean. Well, maybe not there. So like something like that will make it look more wagon-like, but I feel like that could be a good spot for it. Might have to add more than three pumpkins. Unfortunately, we can't turn them sideways. Not that you would really load them up sideways. I think that's a good spot for that, actually. What do we think? The thing about Wells Glam Pixie is that We've got ponds and we've got fresh water in the rivers nearby, so there really wouldn't be a need for a well. They always look a little bit stuck. Dan Grice with a tier one sub, 39 months. Thanks very much. Yeah, I do have some wells in the area. There is a, um, there's a well over here. And granted, there is rivers nearby. It's a real slog to get to. And chances are a river in the town wouldn't be super clean anyway, right? In medieval times. So the idea here is that there's an underwater spring, maybe, that connects them. Um, and then there's a canal here, but that's, again, you're so close to water that it's hard in that way. So that leaves this space. If we're not going to put a wagon there, I guess we could continue the pumpkins. It does feel like it ends quite abruptly. Like, I feel like we could maybe do a smaller pumpkin patch here. There could be more young pumpkins or something. I mean, I like the pond, so maybe that's where we'll start. So what have I done? There's a pond over here. I remember liking this one a lot. I think it's just a lot of seagrass and bushes and stuff. Yeah, it's really all not, not all that complicated. It's just covering the bottom with greenery. This looks like jungle leaves some bushes, some mossy cobble. Okay. Mangrove and dark oak. All right, I think I can, I think I can handle that. A tiny garden for the house. That's what's out back here. I Wheat might look good there. We'll have to see. I wonder if berry, berry bushes are probably going to clash. I imagine the berry bushes would look a little bit strange. I'm just trying to think about crops that I haven't used that much of, you know? Try these. Glowberries might look cool. They're a little weird, but I mean, so are pitcher plants, I guess. This would be a real pain to walk down. I'll let those grow up and see what they look like. It's probably not going to look the way that I want, but that's fine. All right, let's do all the things. Oh, I had signs on me. Uh, have moss, have azalea. I need jungle. Carpet, moss. Sea grass. Looks like that. Bone meal. Mossy cobble. 
maybe some andesite or some tuff. Did I spell the command wrong? That's weird. Um, let me just check that real quick. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Oh, tricky trials. I wonder if, if the night bot's just not working. Hmm. Let's just remove the alias, maybe. Tricky trials. Yeah. So the alias was messing it up. It's probably because there was a dot in it, like the 1.21. So, uh, Sweet Sandy, if you could maybe update the Discord mod and just let them know that it's tricky trials and 1.21 doesn't work. And I'll check the timer to make sure that that's also... There. Sorry about that, folks. Technical difficulties. We will get that question a lot, I'm sure, today, which is, no, we are not running 1.21. Uh, oh, Some mods are updated, but not all the ones that we want. I don't have two more signs, but like that. We'll do something, something like that. We're there. Aldabar, hello, welcome in. All right, where do I want to put a rock? Uh, let's go here. Oh, has this been changed to uh, coarse dirt? This is not. Oh, the joys of working underwater. Super fast. Thanks for the subscribe on Prime. Really appreciate that. If you haven't already, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. Join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. There will be lots of Minecraft talk, I'm sure, as today is update day. Although, as we just mentioned, we're not updating here on the Citadel until all of our mods have been updated. And that usually doesn't take very long. This is going to get real frustrating real fast if I keep on having to bob up and down like that. Where's my bucket? Am I out of course dirt? Almost. Hey, that's a hype train. Thanks to Sweet Sandy's 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. Mind Trip Media also having 100 bits in there. Probably kicking off that hype train chain. Cheers. Thanks for the support as always.
All right, back to wanting to put a rock here. I think that makes sense. Maybe we'll even have a little bit more up top here. Mix in a little tough, maybe. And that was, I think it was Azalea. I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of this into moss while I'm here. We have a lot of it, so not a big deal. Folks, if you'd like to participate in the hype train, then you'll get an emote from Twitch. You can do it with a prime sub or a tier one sub or 100 bits. All of which goes to help me stream as often as I do. Or if we increase the support over the next little while, then perhaps even more often. gets us a good border going. Uh, I think I like that. Maybe we'll have another small bit of rocks over here. Glad I went to go get the bucket. That looks okay. Maybe we'll start to put in a little bit of seagrass here and there. I should, I should get some gravel too. Super fast, jumping in with more support with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. Sweet Sandy with 500 bits. Keeping that hype train going. We've got 30 seconds left for that level one. It doesn't tell you how much... I wish the, the hype train would say there needs to be X amount. Small Judd, thanks for the follow. Uh, gravel, 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 gravel. Did I, do I have gravel? It's clay. There's gravel. I wonder if dripstone would look good down there. Oh, I need mud too. Mud. And maybe muddy mangrove roots, which means I have to ditch something.
I'm not going to be able to tell at night if that's good or bad. Thanks so much for that small hype train, folks. Really appreciate it. That's okay. They happen a fair, fair bit. At least once a week. I don't remember what the cooldown is. I think it's about an hour. For anybody that's paying attention. Yeah, that's okay. Along here, I think we might be able to get more out of this if we had some bushes. And I'm curious if I'm going to like the jungle more or the azalea. I think I prefer the azalea. Jungle might look better underwater, for example. Yeah, so the jungle is a better color, I think, when you've got the blue overlay. Yeah, this is going to get real old real fast. I wonder if Azalea will look good at the very, very bottom. Yeah. Man. Such a pain. For anybody wondering, it's 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 the the water flow underneath the, is pushing me into a swim position, which I do not want to be in. guess maybe here I'll get a little bit more creative underneath these guys. Maybe we'll put a couple different colors. And I do like the way that this dripstone looks. Word nerdify, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. There is a pink bush there. That was not there before. Somebody is invading my space with pink. Surprised it took me that long to find that. I guess I don't need those either. Starting to look a little bit more like a pond. I think we need more double high grass in places. Uh 
Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. With these things, you gotta remember, like, if you have a spot that's like a look off, you wanna pay attention to that. Oh, that's gonna poke through. So we'll do Azalea there. Mm, maybe the one behind here. Yeah, that works pretty well. Although, Kind of wonder whether this might be better off if we used mangrove. Yeah, let's try that with mangrove. Yeah, Turing, I, I don't know who could have left my head on an anvil and a pink leaf block around your guess is as good as mine <laughs> regulars in my chat are like i know i know exactly who it is uh what was i looking for mangrove If I do that, maybe we ditch these. Those are both waterlogged. Maybe we can do some of this. Maybe even some roots. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Add some depth, a little darkness down there. I don't know whether the color shift is going to work. No, not really. And this is where, again, the inventory space is at a premium. All right, let's change the shape of this.
Do I want this to be tall? Maybe back there. <laughs> Not sure how much I like that. That's okay. Of course, I went and put away the ferns. This, I feel like I need something over there. Yeah, that's not bad. Kind of makes it look like the rock is bigger than it is without actually showing rock bits. Niraj, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope I'm saying your name right. A little bit more grass over this way somewhere. Good, good, good. I like it. Now I haven't really added any texture over here, so let's add in a little bit more of this stuff. I 
think that's working. Those are slabs. Don't really have anything darker. At least not for the bottom. I say that's pretty good. I don't think we really have anything more we can do. Maybe just to highlight that bit there. Now along here, I feel like I need to get some different color, color blocks. So I need to go switch some stuff up. I think we're good on the bottom. I don't think I want to add anything more. Although I guess I should put the growth back add there. Cool. Zero T triple six. Thanks for the, for the uh, subscription. 13 months, lucky number 13 on Prime. And Swagnilla. Swagnilla Ice 85. Thanks very much for the raid. Appreciate you sharing your viewers. What were you up to on Minecraft or Twitch today? I'm assuming Minecraft because of the pickaxe in your, in your name. Really wish I had a better way of labeling the bushes. Keep on forgetting which shulker box my bushes are in. Testing a new mod pack on day three. Had to do some changes, so I had to restart the world. That's fun. Mod packs are fun to mess around with. You did get a base design started. Perfect. Sounds like early game progression. Folks, if you'd like to go see what uh, Swagnilla Ice was on uh, on Minecraft, then go check them out on Twitch. Swagnilla Ice 85 with underscore between the words. Thanks again for the raid. Appreciate it. Folks, if you're coming in with that raid and you don't know who I am, I do the Spawn Trunks podcast with Pixel Rose. That happens, I'd say, every Monday from now until the end of time. I mean, it's a, it's a, little, it's a little exaggerated, maybe. Uh, but we do enjoy our time there. And uh, we recently hit episode 300, which launched our adventure into... Um, video that should be darker maybe I'll put mangrove there instead Hmm. 
Mangrove does not really jive, does it? With the current palette. Hmm. That's a little bit better. All good, Swagnella. I appreciate that you probably have to raid run. Happens a lot on Twitch for sure. Oh, it's a thunder shower. I'm tempted to try to find a mod that will either change the frequency of rain or at the very least indicate to me when it's a thunder shower so I know I can go and sleep right away. That just looks like a checkerboard. I have not done well there. How have I done this in the past? It's weird how the soul soil ends up having like a kind of like a purple hue to it. I mean, it makes sense because of the nether, right? Or maroon, I shouldn't say purple. It's definitely got a different hue to it than the other browns that we're using, though. All right, I'm drawing a blank. Where where have I done muddy riverbanks where this is a thing? Terracotta looks like what I'm missing. Yep. Rabelais, good to see you. Haven't, haven't seen you in a little bit. And a shout out to Cosmic Dancer. The 12 month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer to Rabelais has entered the seventh month. That's amazing.
That's a little bit better. Uh, maybe you need something else here. Something I do not have. That was okay, I guess. I think that works. I might want to swap one of those out for soul soil or soul sand, rather. Elad Jenkins subscribing at tier one, 16 months. That's amazing. Thanks ever so much. I think it was the mangrove that I needed to work back in. Maybe. Hmm. Nope. so it doesn't look exactly the same. That's pretty good. I actually like that. And maybe we'll do some azalea here. Acacia, excuse me. Keep those colors going. Yeah, I think that works. What do we think, chat? It has been a minute, Rabelais. I'm glad you're back. Hope things are doing well. Uh, I, I guess along here I could do more of the same. Drop in a couple here. Mm, maybe not two. Maybe we'll just do one. You know what might look good there actually is a rock.
Whoop. One reason I didn't want to put those there is that, and I don't think I particularly like them. They don't really match. I think it is good to have something uh, taller here. So like, I think getting up above the ground is, is probably something that we need to do. I just don't quite know what that is yet. Looks pretty good. Not sure about this. I might have to switch to a different kind of stone. Oh, the inventory pain. Um. CJ, hello, hello. Evie Wharf, thanks for the follow. Noticing a lot of new follows lately. I hope that's um, impartially, or impartial, no, hope that's partially, uh, I can't talk today. Hope that's partially due to the um, new viewers we seem to be getting on the Spun Chunks. On YouTube. You know, uh, a pressure plate, a stone pressure plate on tough actually looks pretty good. I think that's good. I do need to get some concrete powder feeling I'm using a lot of moss or I could be switching it up a little bit. Time to bury the inventory pain. I see what you did there. Time to take a break. Has it been that long? Oh, you're right. It has. It has indeed. Yeah, that helps there too. So I have to be careful here where it's concrete. I don't want to have it uh, turn into con solid concrete from the water. It looks really good next to Azalea. Matches very well. Cool. Uh, that's looking pretty good. We obviously have a little bit more work to do texture wise here, but I'm limited in terms of the space that I have. I may actually want this to be gravel. Yeah, it's a little bit nicer. Yeah. All right. I need to take that break. Always good to stick to those when you set those. Uh, gives myself uh, a little bit of time away from the from the screen. Chance to grab another glass of water. You should too. And if you want to do me a favor, actually, if you know of people that like Minecraft, like this kind of stuff in Minecraft, then uh, recommend them to come and watch uh, either now live or just share the channel. You can also share the Joel Duggan VODs YouTube channel where you can watch this entire town be built step by step. So uh, your call, but I would very much appreciate it. 
and I'll be back in five or six minutes.
Ancients, thanks for the raid. Coming in with a party of five. Appreciate you sharing your viewers. Folks, if you're new and you've not come in with a previous Ancients raid, then uh, welcome in. My name is Joel Duggan. I co-host and co-produce the Spawn Chunks podcast all about Minecraft with Pixel Riffs, who you may know in the community. You, uh, you should listen to that. It's free wherever you find your podcast. You can watch it on YouTube now which is very cool. Uh, and we are enduring the inventory pain of modern Minecraft as I've been working on a duck pond over there. I'll go show you in a second as soon as the sun comes up. So we've been working on this pumpkin farm. We've got most of it filled in and we just started Putting the final touches around this area here. I was working on this path. I actually quite like that. That looks pretty good. Um, I don't know what's happening here. I feel like we need to add in a little extra height. And maybe some extra stuff like that. Want some ferns. I don't think I need the seagrass anymore. This constant shuffle of trying to figure out what um, what we can put in and out of the inventory, what looks good. What makes sense? Trial and error. I think I like that better. That looks pretty good. I like the idea of this thing kind of growing over a rock. So maybe we'll just add in some different tones underneath it to help sell that. Not that you can really see it from back here. Man, that's very tall. You forget how tall the two tall grass is until it's next to a fern. The fern is actually shorter. That looks okay. And I don't have anything to pick this up with. Of course I don't. 
That would be too easy. This might look better as Azalea. Acacia. I keep on getting that backwards. Oh, then I'd have to water log it though. Is that what I want? I mean, it looks okay. It looks a little funny on the map. Yeah, I think that works. I guess I should make a a note here of whether I like this wall where it is before I start doing too much on the back side here because I don't want to have to redo it again. So I'll stop there for now. Um, having a, planning on having ducks or chickens in the pond? No, I don't think I'm going to do the chicken thing because there, there's no way to make them stay put outside of sticking them on a honey block. And this guy just doesn't move at all. So I'm not exactly sure how to get him. I think I've got to change the... I'm going to remove one of these um, trapdoors, push him to the back, and then put the trapdoor back in. Oh, nope. And then he gets out. So that's a problem. Tricky spot. Uh, cobblestone. I'm glad that pigs don't roam around and actually eat your your uh, crops. That would be a problem. Okay, now if I get you in here. Now, can you get out? I can't get out. Yeah, you can get out. You can really get out, okay. Never mind. I guess you have to be on the honey. I really wish there was a better way to move mobs around in this game. This feels so 2012. All right, well, there you stay. A bit too much artistic license, yeah, right? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Right? We'll just eat him.
Acacia and mangrove are honestly very similar in color. I was surprised. They really, they really do work well together. That looks decent. I don't think I want anything too tall in there. Might just look a little bit too repetitive. Ah, it's not bad. I wish we had more variety for that kind of thing. That's something I do like about some modded uh, Minecraft is the variety of foliage. One thing I wish that you could do was lock pets and animals in an area. They could roam a bit, but not outside of the area you chose. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. I mean, we have redstone. How come we don't have radio collars for animals? I think the issue... Um, I mean, they obviously have to be able to climb up one block at a time in order to, to traverse the general Minecraft terrain. So, like, I get that. But what I think they should do is, like mobs, like, you know how zombies will look at a trapdoor and they'll think they can cross over it? Uh, or um, villagers have things like carpets that they won't necessarily cross over? I feel like if you put trapdoors down, I feel like animals should look at a trap door as if it's like a block and a half. I know that's why fences are in the game, but fences are ugly. And they're they don't they take up too much space. I think that feels pretty good. Right? Again, I don't want to do the back just yet because I want to make sure that that wall is gonna stay where it's gonna stay. Uh I guess we can see what we can do around here. This is gonna be filled with stuff. Yeah, that's all gonna be I guess, hinging on what happens with this wall. So we have to leave that for now. But I think that's a pretty good start. I think the, the pond looks good. I think I might... I don't think I have the right textures for in there. Yeah, I don't want to add any textures. I don't think I think we're good. Maybe a little root right here. Yeah, why not? Why not? If we do that, I might want to change this block though. Yeah, that's a little bit better. All right, so we've got this bush idea thing happening. And then I still don't know what to do with the space. This is where I think it might be best to try and throw in some quick pumpkins. One time I removed all the blocks and I'm monument with chests and the elder guardians just stayed in the same area didn't ling uh didn't linger away weird that you'd think that that would not be the case right all right i need to clean this inventory before i scream Right, that feels a lot more manageable. Oh, we've got extra seagrass. I need 
pumpkins, little pumpkins. And get the mangroves back. I think that's what I was mostly using. Oh, coarse dirt as well. I don't have any tiny melons. I don't think I do anyway. If I do, I don't remember seeing them. Good memory though. Pixar has suggested that on, I think it was episode 300 of the Spawn Trunks. Yeah, I don't think I have them currently. Sorry for all the blinking. So if I had them, they would be in the mini block ruin storage. Worth checking. Worth checking. Also, there might be something else I could use as like a a block of things. That's all heads. I'll take those. I mean, maybe, maybe the bamboo. I did try to organize them by color. So if I had melons, it would probably be in that chest there because this is all the gray stuff. Yeah, I don't see any melons. Unfortunately, that means we have to deal with the wandering trader whenever we see him. So many mini blocks and no melon, yeah. Par for the course, unfortunately. All right, how did I lay these out? Two blocks wide and then one, two, three, four usually. So it'd be something like this. Now here would be a fun spot to put down like a little one. Right? I guess that looks okay. I wouldn't mind having some sort of fence here, so maybe we won't put that quite so close. I like having some sort of little fence or something there would be cool. Uh, how can I do this? Let's do... Oh, I could try those. I need more signs anyway.
I don't want to use a fence post because we've got those over here on the house. But I was thinking that maybe we can do something here. Try something like this. Now, can I put... No. What about... Maybe I'll switch this. Hmm, doesn't look as cool. It's not terrible. still see the little one which is good Matt B welcome in all right so these end up with like vines and things attached to them so I don't want to lose that on that Put that there. Oh, that's no good. Plus, I have to remember that I wanted to put um, different blocks underneath these. Didn't bring any of that. I'll have to go get some. I think that's what I was putting underneath them. It's hard to tell. Yep. Whoops, right. We could also do a couple of armor stands near points of interest like this. So for example, this pumpkin here, we could put, an, put it on an armor stand and have it look a little smaller, just to kind of break that up a bit. Now that one, I think I would probably want to grow. So I should get some pumpkin seeds as well.
Funny how quickly you go from a nice clean inventory to almost right back where you started. So that will grow there. And I'll probably do the same thing here. Just have to block this with carpet for now. So some of them are just placed pumpkins and sometimes they grow. I'm trying to get a mix of both. So in the end, it looks like some of them are actually connected. I really should look at changing the color of that stem. I don't don't really like it in this in this case. I feel like so that's there. I feel like I want something else here, but I think what we could do there is maybe have have I done it anywhere else? don't see it. I thought I did it along here somewhere. A little button. Yeah, like that. It sort of looks like a root. We could try dark oak, but I think spruce is probably going to be the better. That feels sort of incomplete as well. There was a pumpkin there. Yeah, I think the spruce doesn't stick out quite as much. And then maybe last pumpkin there. So those two will grow in. And then I've got to figure out where to put some of these two tall vines, not vines, um, ferns. I think that works. That is taken up by the space of the trap door. Yeah, this still feels kind of incomplete. That's a little bit better. I almost want to see what this look, would look like with grass in front of it. I think I like that better. Pretty good. Maybe we'll toss in some lighter stuff there. Nope. 
Now this feels like a lot of empty space. I don't think... No, I don't think I want to do that. I think this sticks through the... Yeah. I don't mind that one. Oh, I'm running out of grass. I think that the pumpkin patch is probably a good solution there. In my mini map, it shows up nicely sort of softens the edge of the pumpkin patch rather than like the hard line that was here with the double pumpkins. I feel like just one row is a little bit better. I mean, obviously we have to add a couple more. Where would be another good spot? I'd say probably right here. Man, it gets dark so fast. For once, not enough items, right? I usually have all the things. I like that little fence. I feel like I should try to do that in other spots. Like instead of this here... Maybe we can try. I'm not sure how to do this. Uh, I can't put. Yeah, I'm sure I'll break something if I try to put it on there. What if we had like a little. I don't know if I've done this before. Mm, sticks out a little far. And this would look silly, I think, without anything to connect to. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could just try the single, single trapdoor. That feels a little bit off, though. Two together is not bad. Maybe if we make this one a spruce trapdoor. I guess at that point we're hiding the the vine though. 
Maybe I'll just reverse them. Yeah. I'll leave that like that for now. Takes a little imagination. That works out pretty well. I think we could use a little bit more texture along here, obviously. Which I don't have. So imagine pumpkins on those last little bits there. And again, like I just, there's a weird empty space here and that's fine. Like we don't have to fill every section. Maybe we can have like a small offshoot here. Like when I think Pixel have said that he accidentally grew a pumpkin in his real life garden. And that to me is something we could sort of like, if we know that these are essentially being, mangrove bushes and pumpkins are essentially our pumpkin crop, we could have something over here that looks like maybe seeds or something is pollinated and grown over this way. So maybe it's like an offshoot. If that makes sense. I find these uh, areas of empty grass are probably some of the most challenging because you don't really have a purpose. You're just trying to sprinkle texture around in a way that makes sense. Kind of straight line. Yeah, I think that's okay. Sort of works. I may want to try to put in a third vine, but at the same time, I don't want to overdo it either. I say vine. These are these to me are are looking like big pumpkin vines. Yeah, I think that works. Not a big fan of that. Although maybe what I can do is split the difference. I think I need to get rid of this. Layer that up a bit. I 
feel like when I do that, I should switch it to Azalea. Acacia? Acacia. Acacia. Have I done that anywhere else? I think that's good. These have all grown in a weird row. Which I don't know if I wanted that. Feels like a lot of pumpkins. I need to make that a acacia. Oh, I've got the mini blocks in my inventory that I was not putting down. And I do have a couple of those as well. They may not look very good because they're um, they're not transparent when you put them down. I think it's important to have rules when you're doing stuff like this. Like if, if like acacia is the only block that you're putting in the ground like that, along with azalea, then I think it's smart to continue to keep that consistent. Now, if I wanted to put a little mini bush somewhere, I might be able to get away with it in here. I'll use the ones that are already player heads. I mean, you really can't see it. Where else would I want one? Hmm. Really doesn't work as anything. Uh, maybe the moss one will. Hard to tell in the dark, though. Feels like a lot of pumpkins. It's a pumpkin farm. I mean, in a row. I mean, touching like a pumpkin wall. Like with no spaces. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't really work, does it? I like that. That looks good. Uh mm -mm. nope. Pixelriff says resubscribe to tier one for 69 months. Thanks ever so much, Pix. Joel, help, I have a redstone headache. Uh-oh. That sounds like there was some crafting. Crafter crafting happening. Thanks very much for the sub, Pix. Hope you're well. Folks, if you would like to go and follow Pixelriffs, I know right where to send you. P-I-X-L-R-I-F-F-S. You're watching this later on YouTube, although there's a really good chance if you're watching me, you already know who Pixel Riffs is. Co-host of mine on the Spawn Chunks and co-producer, of course. Doop, 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 doop. My spare shulker box is getting very full. Let's 
player head? Yes. We have run out of room in the spare. Matt B says, my brain still hurts from redstone since day one. <laughs> I was so excited to get the crafter into my skeleton farm, and then I realized it also produces armor, which is a tough, which is tough to filter out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you use, can you use the crafter as a comparator signal generator so that you can generate the same signal from the crafter as an armor would generate and then filter it that way? Or was it a Lay's that's like the super good uh, non-stackable filter? Although I guess you've got a bunch of different kinds of armor that would be coming in from the Lay's too. So like, I don't know if they would, you'd have to have several Lay's all, like one for leather armor, one for gold armor, one for iron armor, all that stuff. And it would have to be like helmets and boots and all that stuff. I have a filter for that. I have... um on my on my gold farm solution is to dispense it out into an armor stand i have a module on my gold farm i'll take a screenshot uh before the show on monday remind me and it filters out all of the non-stackable so piglin gold armor piglin gold swords like any kind of non-stackable is filtered out of my smelter in the, or sorry, not filtered out of the smelter. It's filtered out of the storage system and into a smelter. But it's very similar to like the impulse SV slice for an item sorter, but it just has a few more components. I didn't come up with it. I had to look it up how to, how to do it. But, um, and actually, while you're here, Pix, uh, there's a shot of the mini pumpkins. I, st I don't have any melons. We went looking, and we have yet to get that trade from the Wandering Trader. Um, we are eventually going to have mump pumpkins growing there, there, and there. But the mini pumpkin here looks pretty good, especially layered with the fence. I think it, it helps a bit. Um, we still have to work on some of the textures and stuff, but... Uh, I'm happy with what we did today. So for folks that are, are coming in here late, uh, we basically added all the texture to the duck pond, added the, the leaves and the, and the flowing grass and the bottom texture, the rocks and things. I actually got away with some uh, dripstone in there too, which is nice. Uh, added some, I guess, bordered foliage to try and create a nice layer there. We also added some muddy areas that kind of transition back into the path a couple of rocks here and there i have not changed the um duck house giant air quotes for duck house um picks i didn't have a shot for this on monday show but this this is what i was bemoaning about um we haven't figured out what to do here it's probably not gonna be berry bushes because they're annoying and i don't think they're the right color for what i want there i do think i want to do something that's higher so we might do something different there. Um, the only thing I do like about this duck thing is is the composter. Looks like feed, which is nice. Uh, I really like the way that this came out. I like this idea. It creates a nice border, I think, between the house and the pumpkin patch. And shows off, I think, draws your attention to this area here. And I'm quite happy with that. One thing I haven't checked, though, I filled this area in on purpose because I want to know what it looks like from up here. When we come in from the west, I want to know that we've got this stuff filled in. And actually, let me turn on some shaders here. Almost sundown. So when you come into the town from the west, and you get to the bridge here, yeah, I think that's a decent amount of like thick greenery. But then, like you can see, there's a low spot there, and it draws you towards the the lake or the duck pond. 
and I don't think it looks too thick. I think it makes sense with all the other stuff that's going on. It feels a little empty, I guess, from this point. So I might want to try to add some too tall grass or something in there. And when you come around and come in the other side. We'll see what it looks like approaching this way, although the sun's going down. Am I always sprinting? Yeah, I can't. I can't stop sprinting. That's weird. I'll jump off. Sprint is on toggle. Did my sprint button change? Left alt? No, that's right. Yeah, weird. Huh. Anyway. So we get a little fence there. That sort of works. And we have the decent fence here. And this is how... I mean, in shaders, my leaves look a little bit too bright. I don't know how to change that. But I like it. I think that works well. well. I like this rock, especially. Very, very cool. Right on. Well, that was a, a decently productive stream, I think. Uh, we're going to pass you on to somebody else playing Minecraft. Just let me refresh my Twitch stream here and see who's doing what. Um, let's just pass you along. You know what? Scotsman UK is live. And uh, they're a member of this community. They're a member of the Spawn Trunks community. And they are a very fun human. I think you will enjoy your day with Scotsman UK. So don't go anywhere. Hold on to your nuggets. Uh, do check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast as well as the Citadel Cafe podcasts. Uh, those are free wherever you find your podcasts. You can, of course, subscribe on YouTube for the Spawn Chunks now in video. And uh, the Citadel Cafe is there as well, although it's just an audio show on, on YouTube for now. Uh, you can uh, check things out on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post when I go live. Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And hey, if you've supported today and if you received a gift sub, uh, thank you very much. Uh, make sure you j jump in the Discord. You can connect your Discord and Twitch accounts and then join the Joel Duggan Discord. And if you're not a Twitch person, like if you don't want to support through Twitch, check out Patreon. It's one of the best ways to support your favorite creators. Uh, I'm on there. Patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It is uh, two bucks a month less than the price of a cup of coffee to support me in my streaming endeavors. And I would very much appreciate it. As the sun goes down, I'm going to pass you on. Have a good afternoon. I'll see you back here tomorrow at one o'clock UTC for Lego. Bye for now.